Ah, uh, hello. It's me. I'm at the at the pub, at the bar. Would you like a drink? Uh Ah <laughs> uh, no. No. Um I don't usually drink this kind of thing. <laughs> so, let me put the drinks down. Um today we're talking about the pub. Pub talk. English you can use when at the pub or the bar. What is the pub? The pub is an informal word for hotel or bar where you can buy alcohol and drinks and drink there. So we just call it a pub in Australia and in the United Kingdom they usually call it a pub as well. You can just call it the bar or a club if there's some dancing happening there. So today I'm going to give you six common phrases or an, and vocabulary that you can use for this topic at the pub and one secret phrase. <laughs> Let's go. So Hey mate, it's my shout. No, no. Let's start again. Would you like a drink? It's my shout. What's that mean? It's my shout. So Usually shout means hey come here to talk very loudly but when you say it's my shout that means i'm going to pay for your drink i offer to pay for your drink or your meal or it can be used for anything if you go to the movies my shout i'll buy your ticket um you know if you go to a concert anything but it's quite common when we talk about drinking at the bar. Hey, isn't it your shout today? I shouted last week. So it's very common in Australian culture to share the payment for drinks when we go out. So usually one friend pays for the first drinks and then the next time you swap and the other friend pays. It's so it's my shout, your shout, my shout, your shout. You don't have to do that, but it's quite common among friends here. All right, next one. So this one has the same kind of meaning. It's on me. It's on me. The drinks are on me, everyone. <gasps> I hope you don't have too many people at the party because you will be paying a lot of money. <laughs> so it's on me also means I will pay. I will pay for the bill. You can say when you go to a restaurant or cafe. Don't worry, it's on me. My shout today, I'll pay. Another one which has the same kind of meaning is it's my round. So at the bar you can say it's my round. What's a round? So a round is a selection of drinks. If you have a group of people, three or four or more people, and everybody has a drink. This is a round. So it's my round. It means I will pay for these drinks. And then it's your turn. All right. Now, what do we say to celebrate together with our friends? When you put the drinks together, cheers, you clink drinks. We say cheers. Every country has an expression for this. Um, what do you say in your country? In your language we say cheers of course cheers has other meanings that is another lesson <laughs> cheers can also mean thank you here in Australia cheers mate thanks mate next one uh, what do I want to drink today what do you want to drink I think I'll have scotch on the rocks scotch on the rocks on the rocks what does it mean rocks so when you have a drink on the rocks, it means on ice. So the rocks are ice. It's an informal way to say on ice. This means you have the drink straight with no other mixer. So you don't have Coke or, or orange juice or lemonade. You just have Scotch whiskey on ice, on the rocks. I'll have a Scotch on the rocks. Thanks. Okay. Great. This phrase is quite common. Let your hair down. 
let your hair down. It just means to relax. So it's often used for women who put their hair up in a big bun or ponytail and they let it down. When they let their hair down, they relax more and usually they have fun. So to let your hair down means to relax and have fun, have a party, dance, you know? You really need to let your hair down. Let's go to the bar. All right, so I'm not advocating alcohol drinking here. <laughs> I don't necessarily think you need to go and drink alcohol to let your hair down. Of course, you can go to the park and relax and let your hair down. Or you can just dance and let your hair down. Or you can just have fun and play music. We spend all weekend dancing. We really let our hair down. Great. So there you have six phrases to use at the pub, at the bar. Try using them. Now, oh, I also said I had a secret phrase, didn't I? Before I tell you this one, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to receive regular videos on these topics. Practicing English conversation, real English conversation. The secret phrase or the secret expression. Get plastered. Get plastered. <laughs> what does it mean? Get plastered. This is Australian slang for get really drunk, really drunk. So you drink a lot of alcohol and then, oh, 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> get really like drunk. Oh. James got really plastered last night. Now, maybe it's not good for your health to get plastered, but that's a common Australian slang. So if you come to Australia and you want to party and go out, you might hear this one. Of course, if you want to be more healthy, watch my video about the gym, English for the gym. See you next time, guys. See you next time.